Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to show you how you can implement uh, Google's speech to text API in your project. So, guys, let's get straight into it. All right, so first of all, head up to your Google Cloud Console and then search for speech to text API. Now you need to enable this API. If it is not enabled in your console, then uh, an enable API button would appear here. All right, so after you enable it, you have to download the GCP keys for your account, which are available in IM and admin section. Then you head up to the service account section and you can select any uh, service account you have created before. Go to the keys bar. And now you can create a new, a new key by this button, create new key. All right, so now we can head up to the coding part. So for this uh, video, I have taken this uh, audio as a sample, which is. The stale smell of old beer lingers. It takes heat to bring out the odor. A cold dip restores health and zest. A salt pickle tastes fine with ham. Tacos al pastor are my favorite. A zestful food is the hot cross bun. Right, so we are going to transcribe this audio. And so first of all, to begin with, uh, we need to install requirements. So for this, we would uh, need to install Google Cloud Speech library in Python, which goes like we've installed Google Cloud Speech. Now install this library. All right, after installing, now we can head up to the coding part and first of all, obviously import this library from google.cloud. And then put speech weaven. I'll just import it as speech. And now I can import OS just to refer to my Google key. All right, so now we can begin the uh, implementation part. So first of all, uh, we need to create a client for Google Speech, which can be created by client equals to speech dot speech client. And I'll create this from service account file, which I can refer to as GCP key dot JSON because the file currently exists exists in my current directory. All right, so the client is set up now. We can uh, run its functions now. So, okay, so the thing with speech to text API is that the audio needs to be a mono audio instead of a stereo audio. So first of all, we have to create a function where we can convert our stereo audio to the mono audio. So how do we do that is I can, I'll just create a function, convert to mono. I can pass in input file output file all right for this we have actually an inbuilt library in python we can import audio segment from pydub so we can import from pydub import audio segment so this audio segment uh, is used for converting stereo to mono file now we can implement its functionality by running audio equals to audio segment dot from file and we can pass in our input file as the parameter and then we can set its channel to one which will eventually convert it to a mono channel audio all right now we can export the audio by running audio dot export or output file and format we can keep as wav so this function uh, will be used to convert our stereo audio to uh, mono audio, which uh, is necessary for this speech to text API. All right, now we can also uh, write a function to transcribe the audio. So I, I'll just name it transcribe audio and I'll just pass the input file as the parameter. All right, so now, uh, 
we can open the file with the with open function and we need to read the file in binary mode so we have to write rb for that and i'll just import it as audio file after importing the audio file we can work upon with the audio content so first of all we need to extract the content from the wav file and how do we do that is audio uh, content equals to audio file dot read that will uh, read the audio and convert its content to a readable format now we can uh, run the speech to text api functions uh, we can run the client functions like audio equals to speech dot recognition audio content equals to content basically this is uh, for recognizing the content and then converting it to a uh, audio which is readable by the speech to text client now we can configure our uh, recognition configurations we can configure it by config so speech dot recognition config and now we can enter our specific configuration for the demonstration purposes i'll just put up the standard configuration which i require which is an encoding parameter which i can put up as speech dot recognition config dot audio encoding dot linear 16 this is the most basic uh, encoding type we have to use and we can use in config file all right so now we can put the sample heart rates as sample audio so for the sample rate hertz we actually need to uh, pass in the actual rate of the audio file so for that we can also use another function uh, which is inbuilt in python which is present the wave library of python packages so we can import wave and now we can open the audio sample with our wave wave module and then we can get the sample rate by running the wave file dot get frame rate function that will re uh, return the sample rate of the audio file so we have uh, extracted the sample rate here we can put the sample rate here right now now we need also need to put the language code in which the original audio is Okay, so now we have completed the configuration for a speech client. Now we can actually run the function to transcribe the audio, which is client.recognize. So I'll just save that in a response variable, which is client.recognize config equals to config, and then audio is equals to audio. All right, to actually see the uh, transcription, we need to parse the response. And for parsing, we can run a uh, we can run through response or results and we can print the transcript as result dot alternatives and it's zeroth index dot transcript similarly if you want to print the confidence uh metric of the audio we can uh use the dot confidence to print the confidence metric of that audio Con uh, of that audio recognition and now we can actually return response this is the original response we got from the a all right so i think now we can run the functions and now first of all we need to convert our audio to a mono audio file with a convert to mono function then we can transcribe the audio inputting the mono audio as the parameter and now if i run this file it should give me the transcription and confidence so the name of the audio was sample audio instead of audio sample now it should give me the transcription of the audio and so you can see that it has converted to mono and we have also got the sample rate which is 44100 so yeah there's a transcription for the speech we had inputted in the function which is a stale smell of audible lingers it takes the heat to bring out the odor a cold it restores health and zest a salt pickle taste fine with ham tacos alpasar uh, my favorite or zestful food is the hot cross bun which is the exact transcription of the audio we had passed in and also it gives us the confidence parameter this is the basically representing uh, how confidently the client uh, uh, recognized the audio transcript so yeah that's how we could use speech to text api for transcribing audio this can be used in a project if you are using a 
speech to text client or something like that you can uh, implement this in your project so yeah thanks for watching